Let's talk about Job's Tears Grain. Super high in protein, more than a lot of beans. And anti-inflammatory, helps with the GI tract, helps with ulcers, helps with cholesterol, inflammation, all kinds of things. And at the end, I'll talk about dosage and side effects and all kinds of things like that. So stay with me. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Let's talk about Job's Tears Grain. This is flour here made from that. And it's really great grain, and I highly recommend it. And it's a miracle grain. There's no doubt about that. It's a really super high in protein, meaning it's about 18%, 17%, 18%. And that's a lot more than most beans, except for soybeans. And really great for the health bars, soothing the GI tract, helping with ulcers, also lowering cholesterol, lowered you know blood sugar, also helps with inflammation, helps with cancer, allergies, all kinds of things. It's been used safely and effectively for over 4,000 years in Chinese medicine. The gra grain itself actually tastes a little bit like barley and uh, kiwa, kind of a mixture a little bit. Very mild grain, really nice. Also, it's becoming very fashionable now, this grain, because it's very uh, gluten-free and uh, people love it. It cooks up to be a big pearl, uh, like couscous type of grain, really nice. I highly recommend it. Uh, almost about the same size as uh, something similar to buckwheat. And what that does, also sorghum, yeah, probably similar to sorghum size, actually. Also, it's been used for thousands and thousands of years, like I said, and utilized as a healing agent in Chinese medicine and food also. And so it grows as a kind of a bunch of grass with big leaves. The leaves kind of look like corn, to tell you the truth, very similar. And I highly recommend it. It grows in China, Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, uh, all over in Asia. And it's commonly, commonly used for making rosaries also. <laughs> you know, the rosary beads that you, <laughs> you pray with. It's very interesting. Isn't it? They make those with that. Also called Coex Lacrima Jobi. Uh, that's the Latin name. And called Adelaide or Adelaide Millet, Adelaide Seed. Also Yi Yi, Yi Yi Rin, and many other names around the world. It contains a lot of protein that has good carbs and has uh, some good fats in it also, palmitic acid, mystric acid, and a huge amount of antioxidants, I'm telling you. And it contains up to 17-18% protein, which is really great. And uh, about 50% uh, good uh, carbohydrates are really good for you to get you going. Also, it can be uh, actually roasted and used as a coffee substitute. They do that in Japan and also in India, too. It helps with colds and flus because it has so many antioxidants in it. Really great. Also, helps with pain in general in the body because it's anti-inflammatory. Helps with redness, swelling, and pain in general. Especially the arthritis really helps with that in, in a great way. Good for the liver and the Liver inflammation and gallbladder inflammation, this is really great for that. And I'll talk about the liver uh, a little bit more a little later. Helps with cancer. A lot of studies, this cancer study in 2007, actually it inhibits, you know, certain pathways to stop the cancer in the body. Really amazing. Another is actually there's a formula used in, uh, in China actually to help with cancer too, using uh, Jake Job's Tears grain inside of it also. Also in 2012, a journal of complementary medicine found that they actually suppressed proliferation of cancer, decreased inflammation, and enhanced anti-tumor immunity also. Also in the journal of ethnopharmacology in 2008, it was found it actually helped to decrease the proliferation of aggressive tumors in the body. And in uh, Chinese medicine, they recommend from 30 to 60 grams daily. If you mix with with uh, brown rice, if you are eating uh, for cancer, so you might want to have some brown rice together with 30 to 60 grams of the Job's Tears grain. Really great. Also great for the digestion. 
uh, promotes healthy digestion, helps to soothe the GI tract. And in 2011, a journal study of, uh, of food chemistry found that it actually decreased the ulcers and inhibited gastric ulcer uh, cancer cells. So really great. Also helps with osteoporosis. A study in 2008 showed in Journal of Clinical Nutrition showed it improved people's <clears throat> bone density with osteoporosis. People who have osteoporosis, they got thicker bones, so that's really good. Also helps with <clears throat> hormone balancing here. So in 2000 uh, issue of Journal of Chinese uh, Medicine actually uh, showed that people who had PMS or you know menopause and different types of symptoms actually in decrease their symptoms by 90%. Wow, that's a whopping amount, really great. Also helps with fatty liver disease. If you have accumulation of fat in your liver, you wanna have some Job's uh, grain, which is Job's tears grain, which is really does a great job. Also, it helps with weight loss and it can help with reducing body weight, food intake, and amount of food that fat that you have actually in your body. Uh, it gets rid of fat in general in your body and helps with lowering cholesterol and triglycerides too in your body. And so amazing stuff. Uh, because a lot of fiber, which I think has a lot to do with that also. It lowers cholesterol. A study in 2006 in the journal uh, International Journal of Nutrition actually showed that it actually lowered LDL or what some people call uh, bad cholesterol. It's not really bad cholesterol, it's just a part of the cholesterol in our body. Also lowers and balances glucose. If you have diabetes or if you have prediabetes, you might want to be eating some of this grain. A study in 2006 showed it actually has certain polysaccharides called coaxins, <laughs> which actually, actually lower glucose and help to stabilize glucose too. Also, it's a powerful diuretic. And if you're, you know, gaining weight at your that type of the month and you can't get into your clothes, you might want to try some Job's Tears grain also, really good. It's very cooling. And if you happen to be a hot person like me, I'm hot, oh boy, it's been hot here. We had 100 degrees last week with about 75, 80% humidity. It was a killer. Uh, I'm eating this grain. <laughs> it's great for the skin. You actually make a paste and put it on certain areas. It helps to get rid of the inflammation in the area. Really great. Also, it's anti-inflammatory. A study in 2017 showed it really had powerful anti-inflammatory capabilities. Works great for arthritis and joint pain and that type of thing. Also helps with menstrual pains like I just talked about. Helps with allergies also. If you have uh, actually stopped some of the allergy uh, processes going on, the histamine processes going on in the body. And so it has a lot of different things. Also helps with arthritis. Actually uh, stop some of the mechanisms that start the arthritic process in the body. So really great. Also it has lots of antioxidants in a journal of phytochemistry. Uh, in 2015, showed it had a huge amount of flavonoids. Also helps with warts. If you have a wart, you can put some of the paste on that wart and put a Band-Aid over it. It should fall off in a few days, and that's a great thing. Also helps with respiratory tract infections and uh, helps to boost up your immune system. Also, it's antibacterial to get rid of bacterial infections. Like I said, it helps with inflamed skin. If you have some problem going on with your skin, it can, a paste can help to get rid of that also. And plus you're taking it in also. It can be used as a tea. You can take the actual grain and put it into a cup, about a teaspoon, add some really hot water, and let it steep for 15, 20 minutes, then drink that, and you can drink it that way. And that, you get a lot of benefits that way also. Also, you can find it on Amazon and eBay and uh, Japanese stores, Korean markets, Chinese stores, all of these have uh, wonderful Job Tears or Coex Seeds, it's a C-O-I-X Seeds, as they're called in Asia. And they're very inexpensive. I ordered just another replacement for mine, a uh, 12-ounce package for about $10, so really great, not, not bad at all. And really, really wonderful. Uh, cooking it is very simple. You put some in a, 
in a pan, uh, in a saucepan, add water to it, let it boil for 50, 60 minutes. Does take a little while to cook. 50, 60 minutes until it's chewy, then you're ready to go. Really great. And it has a big pearl like you get with sorghum when you cook it that long. And because of that, great for adding to salads. I just love it in salad. There's no doubt about that. So soups and stews and casseroles, all kinds of different things. And like I said, it's gluten-free. You can make your own gluten-free flour with it. Uh, average dose, 10 to 60 grams daily, but it's a food you can eat all you want. Uh, side effects, no, I'm, none that anybody knows about really. It's a really big food in Asia. Lots of people eat it. Very safe. There are some studies with animals showing that it could cause, you know, uh, uterine contractions. And so that is a, you know, something to keep bear in mind. I would not, you know, if you want thinking about that, it's probably not good for pregnant women, small children, or those who are nursing. But a lot of times it, that doesn't have any bearing on human studies, and we don't have a human study, and people have been eating this for 4,000 years without a problem. So uh, that's more important to me than anything else. So if you want to really make a difference in your life, get a hold of me. Let's do a consultation. I asked for a $50 donation. That I ask uh, for a $50 donation, and that's for the one and a half hour, hour to one and a half hour process that we go through on WhatsApp or Skype or, you know, FaceTime. And we can talk around the world. Boy, I've been talking with people in the Netherlands and Africa, uh, in uh, Iran, all over the place. I'm telling you, I, I talk to everybody everywhere and a lot in the United States also. But uh, a lot of people are not feeling good. There's no reason to not feel good. I'm going to be 67 here in September and uh, I feel like 20. And I really work out a lot, and I walk eight miles a day, and I work out with weights a lot, and I just got through working out on my TRX. And I, like I said, I don't take any, any medications. I don't have any aches or pains, and I feel fantastic. And you can be that way too. All my contact information is at the end of the video, or you can click on Show More, and it's right down below. Also, let's make sure you're not a statistic. Let's make sure you're not going to come down with cancer. This is my new book, Live a Cancer-Free Life. And you can get it on Amazon and eBay. Remember, it's Live a Cancer-Free Life. And you can Google that also. And I'll put it down below in the first comment, the link, so you can uh, connect with it. And uh, three out of five people are coming down with cancer. Not good. Uh, and also, it's moving to four out of five, and I don't want you to be a statistic. You, I care about you guys, and I want you to be healthy all the rest of your life, just like me, and really enjoy life all the time, and there's no reason to come down with cancer. This is a, a quick read of you know, things you can do to really prevent cancer and change your life in a great way. So, remember a couple things. Remember God. And remember, I love you.